Oh my God, for my birthday. What a surprise. You guys, I almost had a heart attack. Okay, I got my birthday all planned out. I want us to drink a bunch of Four Locos, then swim across the lake after midnight. I really don't think it's that far across. It looks real close. Roger, didn't you just have a birthday a couple of months ago? Yeah, that's right. You made us ride ATVs on Ted Nugent's ranch without his permission. Fine, you caught me. It's not my birthday. But that's the only day of the year I can get you nervous Nellies to do anything adventurous. So, who's in for the Loco Lake Swim? Look, Roger, we're all for trying new things, but that sounds too dangerous. Yeah, if new things are so great, where have they been all this time? Well, 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 what have we here? Discount coupons to the American Safety Museum? Using these! Oh, look, they're doing an exhibit on Augustus' seatbelt, the inventor of the airbag. Hello? We're not going to any stupid safety museum. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? You guys will not believe what's in this towel. A baby. A baby you gave birth to and you didn't even know you were pregnant. It just popped out on the lawn. You thought you were just taking a D on the lawn, but surprise, it wasn't a deuce. It was a baby, and it's in that towel. Show me that baby! N no, it's a raccoon. What did you do with your baby? Look at this adorable guy. I'm gonna call him Cuddles, after the cat he was eating when I found him. Oh, my God, you won't do my dangerous birthday plan, but you're gonna let her keep a wild animal in the house? She got a pet. I think it's nice. Ugh, forget this. I'm gonna go do something on the edge, like skydiving or trying on underwear at Marshall's. Oh, hey, Roger, there you are. I wanted to ask your advice. Finally, someone who wants to hear what I have to say. So I have a crush on this girl, but she only goes for jocks. Well, she sounds too smart for you, Steve. I suggest you find somebody else, because you'll never be a jock. That's it! I'll become a jock! You'll be as good a jock as you are a listener. They should have listened to me. That was an epic swim. I think my favorite part was when that guy drowned trying to save me. Now, if only there was a way I could remember this day forever. Oh my god, a red light camera! this light would just turn red, we'd have one hell of a picture. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? Blow it out your ass! Thank God you're awake. You've been in a coma. Oh my God. How long was I out? This long or this long? The first one. Roger, I just want to tell you how happy we are that we didn't go along with your stupid plan. Yes. If you weren't so easy to dismiss, we could be in here with you. Mom, Dad, thank you for not listening to Roger. Well, this has been a grand reunion. Roger, you're awake, which means you're probably alive. Let's check your vitals. <laughs> A body. A lawsuit. Doctor, I just had a vision. You're being fired by a baby. Well, that's impossible. Unless it was Dr. Baby, the baby who's in charge of this hospital. But I assure you, your vision wasn't real. It was nothing but a post-comatic delusion. You just need a little more rest. I think your family should probably leave. I'm sorry, what? I thought you guys should go. Yeah, so did we. I swear, what I saw seemed so real. I think you're gonna lose your job. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm a dedicated professional with a spotless record. You see, when I'm engaged with a patient, it's as if the whole world disappears around me. Oh no, the bad sound. <gasps> He's dead! <laughs> this was clearly your fault, Doctor! Damn it. It's gonna take more than a game of peekaboo with Dr. Baby to get out of this one. <laughs> oh my god, I was right! This was my vision! Ma'am? Ma'am, I was right! <laughs> I see you on a beach with a guy. I wouldn't dread hanging out with him. Your new boyfriend has dreadlocks. How dare you? I'll never love anyone but my husband. I'm here to guard at a dead man, man. Whoa, you look sexy when you cry. Really? No one's ever noticed that about me before. How about I buy you a red stripe? <laughs> And that's when I was sure that I could see the future. Roger, the last time you thought you could see the future, you said that Rodney would have the best party. 
But his parents came home early and ruined the whole thing. It's here! One row flex and five containers of protein powder. Thanks to all this, I'm about to become a jock! <laughs> You're never gonna use any of that stuff. Of course I'm gonna use it. And I'm starting with a protein shake right now. Mom? All right, give it to me. I see a desperate man with a clip-on tie, a set of keys. Francine, you're getting a new car! That's ridiculous, Roger. I just got a new car, and I love it. It's the same car that Matt Damon drove and we bought a zoo. I like to drive around and pretend I have zoo problems. Oh my god, what am I gonna do about my zoo? Right? It's time! Everybody ready to go to the American Safety Museum? Interesting. It says here, autoerotic asphyxiation is the number one cause of awkward funerals. Oh, they have a picture? <laughs> Oh, my God! You can't go! Horrible things will happen! Roger, what could happen? It's the Safety Museum. Yeah, it's not like it's the Natural History Museum full of dangerous ideas and attitudes. Ignore him, Stan. We can take my car. You have to believe me! You're making a huge mistake! Were you talking to me? Because I was only going to try it this once. I have a paper due in the morning. You have been randomly selected for racial profiling. Ooh, this is so real! Stan, this museum has some great exhibits! Yeah, let's go check out the Kobe Bryant encounter. Do you want to come up to my hotel room? Sure! I think we should move on. No, I know I can get this. Do you want to come up to my hotel room? As long as you have a t-shirt I can sleep in. Forget it, this is impossible. Is this an exhibit, or is this just a wet floor? I don't know. I just started. The last tour guide got fired yesterday. She was not happy. Hey, there she is. Hi, Helen. Safety off! We gotta get out of here. It's just a really good replica of an emergency exit. It's so accurate. None of it's real. There are no actual safety precautions in this museum. What do we do? I'll tell you what to do, if you're ready to listen. Roger, wh what are you doing here? Don't worry. I know everything that's going to happen. Haley, take the traffic cones and make them into a U over there. Francine, grab that wheelchair. Stan, get that fire extinguisher. Steve, put that bulletproof vest on. Wait a minute. Sh shouldn't we all get vests? I wrote this 14 minutes ago because in my vision you asked me that exact stupid question. Now do what I say! Oh no, they're gonna trample us! Just stay behind the cone! Why didn't you just have me stand somewhere else? Less fun. Everybody climb on! Oh my god! Roger, you saved- Hold on, wait for it. My car! And I'm pretty sure that warrants a trip to Coldstone. Roger! You were right about everything. We should have listened to you. Oh, I'll accept your apology. And the lanyard you made me at Camp Shoulda, Woulda, Coulda. I can't believe that Roger can see the future. Now, hold on. I, I don't know if it proves that. You know that note I gave you? Turn it over. This is my cell phone number. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? Light him up, girl. He's not gonna call. He thinks you could lose 10 pounds. But that's not why he doesn't call. He dies in that fire. So you didn't need to tell me about the 10 pounds? Somebody needed to tell you.